Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So this week I want to feature a Shopify store that's called illustratedtracks.com. This is a business that's been started in somebody's spare time. It's been based and built on top of what their hobby is. So this is something that the majority of the people watching this video are 100% capable of building as well, at least in my opinion, with the right strategy. And if you take your time and do things properly, you can definitely replicate the same level of success. Who are these guys then and what do they sell? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you their Shopify store, the products that they're selling, the supplier that they're using, essentially all of the inner workings and makings of replicating or building a business that is similar for you. Just to make it 100% crystal clear at the beginning, I do not condone anybody copying any other business. I purely show you these videos because you can learn a lot from them. The best people to learn from are those people who are doing things successfully. So you can take what these guys are doing and put your own spin on it. However, I will give you a bit more information on that later in the video. So as I've already mentioned, they're called illustrated tracks. It is a print on demand shop. There's lots and lots of different pros and cons with print on demand. If you want a separate video of myself going over and highlighting those different pros and cons, make sure you leave a comment down below. Something else to mention as well is that I read every single comment. So if you are stuck at any point in your journey or you need help with anything, make the most of these videos. Whilst we don't get too many comments on each video, I still read every single one. So if there's something that you want to ask me personally, it will be me replying. Just leave it down below. So it's a print on demand shop. The site age is two years. So it's still a relatively new business, at least in my eyes, with an average monthly profit of two and a half thousand dollars, which equates to about $30,000 per year. Now on the surface, it's probably nothing to write home about. However, like I've already mentioned, this is a business this person has started in their spare time as a bit of a hobby. Running a business of this setup and this size is probably three to five hours, maybe 10 hours at a very push per week. So whether you're working a nine to five or whatever your commitments are, you probably could find the time to build something of similar success and size to these guys. So 30 grand profit per year. Something else as well, this current store is currently up for sale. The asking price is classified. However, it's given a ballpark number of a hundred thousand dollars. So why you may not be thinking, well, $30,000 a year isn't very good. He potentially could sell this business for six figures. Even to get just $20,000 or $50,000 for this business, that gives you a lot of cash for investing and starting up other drop shipping stores. Let's move down then, a bit more contextual and background information. So the revenue is 160,000 euros. I believe that is with an average of 15 to 20% margin in the last 12 months. 15 to 20% is relatively low, um, especially for print on demand. So there's probably some things you could do with this business to make it that little bit more profitable. They're using a print on demand company called Prodigy. Um, I'll be showing you these guys' website in a second so we can take a look at exactly the type of products they sell. So if you've got some ideas floating around in your own mind, you might see something that you can get that idea printed onto on Prodigy. Um, and there you go, you've got yourself like a path of business idea. Average order value, which is 85 euros. So that's a very good average order value with a five to 10% returning customer rate. Again, a very good returning customer rate. Typical with drop shipping is sort of like maybe two to 5%. So there's definitely some things or definitely some potential with this business. Customers are 60% Europe, 30% USA and Canada, 10% um, Australia and New Zealand. So I, with hazard a guess that with a bit of fine tuning, you could significantly or drastically, I should say, um, increase the profitability of this business. But again, that is just based on my own opinion with the surface information I'm taking from Flipper. Let's take a look at the products and services then. So Google Analytics, Shopify, Stripe, and PayPal, nothing too exciting there. Primary expenses then, we have $1,000 a month on Google and Facebook ads, so we know how he's getting his customers. He's spending five and a half grand on print on demand production costs, which seems like a lot. And he's paying $164 a month for his Shopify stores. So that'll be obviously the plan and the certain apps that he's using. Moving down into the revenue and profit for the last 12 months, we can see as we come up to Q4, huge spikes, and then the natural collection correction 
not collection, natural correction once the Q4 months have finished. What we can see though is throughout the year, it's a relatively consistent seller. If we get rid of these and close this tool up, we can see what sort of numbers he's doing. So let's go for Q4 then. So October six and a half with one and a half profit, November 31,000 with 8,006 profit. When you see the products, you'll see it makes the perfect kind of gift. Um, December, 50,000 turnover and only two eight profits. So if I was gonna consider buying this business, that would probably be one of my very first questions is what the hell happened in December? Why didn't you make as much as November? That being said then, if we kind of go on the general consensus from August to where we're at May 2023, so last month, we can see he's doing in and around sort of eight to 10 grand consistently with a profit of in and around sort of two, two and a half thousand. Jumping down into his top countries, then we can see that the USA is where the most popular, where the most amount, where the most amount of people are coming from, followed by France, UK, Australia, or Germany. So I'm not 100% sure why he's still continue to spread himself that thinly across the world. Um, maybe they're all of equal profitability. Something that I do with my own businesses is when I do test or run traffic from lots of different countries, um, I will certainly look at which country is most profitable and then double down and focus all of my attentions in that one place. That being said, then let's check out the website illustratedtracks.com. So it looks very much, if we check Koala Inspector, like a Brooklyn type theme. So it's called Copy Von Brooklyn, which must be some kind of like adaptation. And we can see they've got like real dark images, which gives off that kind of um, luxury, luxurious and premium quality type product. We can see they've got some like mock-ups here where they've put their drawings um, to make it look like it's featured in somebody's living space. They have these really nice original imagery, which again, are really high quality images and portrays their product as a premium product. Let's go up to racetracks then and have a look at their best sellers and again the actual image they've used for the product with it being in a frame and with the roll being by the side of it it's just a really nice high quality touch and like I said earlier I'm really portrays and positions their product as a premium one let's go for the Nürburgring then one of my favorite racetracks and one that one day I do plan to drive around once I get the time but anyway let's take a look at their product page so we can see they've done a really nice job of making it look like it is actually in that room whereas you can get or use tools I should say like placeit.net where you upload your design and it will put it in the room for you so it makes it look like an actual real image in terms of what they're offering there's obviously lots and lots of different variations we saw that their average order value is 76 euros so it's probably somebody in and around this sort of range with a framed canvas um, and a3 size let's move down then i suppose there's not a lot of like features and benefits to point out with the products like this i mean it is what it is so they do a good job of really kind of giving the customer exactly what they need but not too much so shipping and returns information we can see uk two to three days there's nothing on there longer than kind of like a week unless they're going international outside of these big five or six countries or areas they have all of the proper information about the product too so gives everything as well about whether you get framed whether you get canvas framed canvas acrylic panel so all of the information is there for the person when they make a purchase that being said then so we know their products we know how they're selling them on facebook and google we know what sort of money they're making let's take a look at their supplier so this is their supplier prodigy sell print on demand products worldwide so you can turn digital images into physical products with prodigy print locally scale globally which is a really cool mission statement and we know the fact that you can print locally by these guys shipping times we can see you weren't looking at anything longer than a week so delivery is super super quickly which allows you of course to take advantage of global markets let's go into their products then we can see everything from kind of clothing um, to lifestyle stickers device cases photo books stationery sports and games let's go for prints and posters so this is the sort of thing obviously that he'll be paying for let's go for art prints let's go for let's try photo prints see if we can get a price from these guys without having to log in we have c types um, luster photo paper different vegan options let's go for c types you can order sample packs which is cool and a wholesale cost from 25 pence that seems very very cheap so let's try and find something a bit more accurate to the sort of thing 
let's go for mounted prints let's try and find something a, a bit more accurate to the to the price that he'll be paying so framed prints back to his product page and we can see it's got like a black frame and it does indeed go to the edges this is a framed canvas for 80 pounds so budget framed poster framed glow in the dark framed photo tiles I think this is it framed photo tiles because that looks like a canvas inside if I'm not mistaken so I've skipped ahead and found the exact product so you guys didn't have to watch me fumble through a website for 10 minutes and um, this is the exact thing that he's selling for uh, 80 pounds so it is indeed if we look at the actual image and the actual mock-up Let's try and get one a bit closer so you can see. If you look at the edges there, how it kind of like rounds in to a canvas inside a frame, it's the exact same thing. And um, the wholesale cost starts from 17 pounds. If you want specific pricing, you do have to log in. However, you get the idea of what it's gonna cost and the overall setup of this business. So with that being said then guys, I think that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to show you in this video. What I want you to take away from this is instead of rushing to try and make a hundred thousand dollars or five hundred thousand dollars for a million dollars as quickly as possible take your time and build things up over six months over a year try and build it profitably try not to get carried away with how big the numbers are inside your shopify dashboard on your phone because at the end of the day what is most important is that bottom line and even with quite a modest business that makes 30 grand a year profit that potentially is still a very big payday one day when you sell that business this guy is potentially going to walk away with a hundred thousand dollars after two years of building a shopify store when you average that out including the 30 grand profit he's making a year that's 80 grand a year for a business that takes five to ten hours per week to build and maintain and so on that note then guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've taken away something valuable from this any comments questions video suggestions anything at all do not hesitate to get in touch thanks for watching guys i'll see you in my next video on wednesday cheers